I'm going to deploy this Tinas CMS self-hosted starter that uses the Vercel stack. It uses Vercel KV for the data layer and commits all the saves to GitHub. So let's go into the readme here and hit deploy. And we'll just leave the default repository name and create it under my account. We'll provision a KV database and just use the default credentials and it'll automatically add those to our environment variables and we'll paste in the auth secret that I already generated from the command. And for the GitHub personal access token, we'll just create one real quick and we'll select the repository that was just created. And we'll go in and make sure we have read and write access for the contents of the file. And then after that, we'll generate the token, copy it and paste it into the environment variables. And now we're ready to deploy. Awesome. So the site's deployed and this is just the basic Next.js starter with Tina CMS hooked up for editing in a markdown file. If we go to slash admin, we can see it's hooked up with visual editing and we have to log in with the default username and password, which is Tina user and Tina rocks. Once we log in, we are prompted to make a new password. So we'll just change that real quick and log in with the new credentials. So Tina user and the new password we just entered. Now that we're logged in, we can look at the site and it's just the basic TMS site and we can edit to say hello and hit save. And let's go to the Git repo. And if we look at the commits, we can see that we have an edit from TNSMS and it has been updated to say hello. We just saw how we can get up and running with TNSMS self-hosted using the Vercel KV as the data layer and saving all changes to GitHub.